this is FlipVids59, and I am going to show you a video about my totally pimped out iPod Touch. There's my iPod. Okay, so I jailbroke this in May. Oh, there I am. Hi. I jailbroke this in May, and it's, it was awesome. I had I jailbroke it, it was like that for two weeks. Or maybe, yeah, two weeks, three weeks. But then yesterday, yeah, yesterday... It started to give me problems. For some reason, after I downloaded something from City, I went into Winterboard, and I set it up. It was that I would realize thing or whatever. Then I shut it off, and then I went back on it. And it totally, like, I was going into my videos, and it totally fr froze up. It was like, I was like, freaking out. Kept resetting it, resetting it, but nothing happened. So then I thought I'd just take all the jailbreak broken data off. And I found a video on YouTube, helped me a lot. Um, it was from iPhone Arena, check it out. It's probably the best jailbreaking um, uh, channel with unboxing and stuff like that ever. So check it out. You could look into my subscriptions here. You can look into here to go to the iPhone Arena. Right here, just click subscriptions. And it would be all the way... It would be on the second page. And there you go. IPA. This one. Not that one. This one. So then just click it up. And it comes up. Okay. So. Anyway. Back to the iPod. Yeah. So I jailbroke it. That, that was from also iPhone Arena. It helped me. It was amazing. The guy's amazing who did it. But then I found. He told uh, he made a YouTube video saying that there was the, um, he found the WWDC Golden Master Edition for the iPhone, which is, aka the iPhone 3GS 3.0 update. Okay, and I downloaded it by listening to his video. I will give you a link in the video description. Yeah, okay. So, here we go. This is what your iPod would look like. For some reason now, you can't do the volume control. See, I'm pressing the volume and nothing's happening. Yeah, you can't do it in there. That's the only problem. But, so, it looks all normal. You got your own background. Slide to unlock. Okay, so, basically nothing looks that different except for that little icon right there. It says, voice memos. Click on it, even though I don't have a mic in this, but I have a speaker. I got, I bought the, uh, Apple, he if you have an iPod Touch 2nd gen, or, yeah, 2nd or 1st gen, whatever, just buy the Apple headphones with the mic built in, and so, that would work, and you could, like, record, so you'll click, click, record, but then it says, no microphone, so, that's pretty cool, for some reason, it didn't give me, um, uh, like, voiceover, where you click that and say, like, call Bob, or whatever, and they didn't give me the compass, I don't know why. But another cool thing is when you swipe to the side, usually it just, your icons just fly to the side and nothing happens. But watch what happens now. A little uh, search bar and keyboard comes up. I think you could do sideways or landscape. Wait, no. Okay. That's another problem it didn't give me. I don't know why. Okay, so let's just say we want to listen or find something on my iPod that's, that we don't feel like going to. Okay, so let's just say we want to go, um, do the moron test. So, M, oh, there it is, see, already. Click on it, takes away, there you go. So it's pretty cool. But then, it's, yeah, it stays at your home menu. But then it stays like that, so I always just click, oh, there goes maps. Hold on. Okay, so there you go. And then just, like, when it's like that. Just swipe in the black space. You go back. Okay, another awesome thing is YouTube. YouTube, they say they were supposed to give you a landscape um, uh, search thing. Well, let's just see because I'm, I'm not sure. YouTube. Yeah, nothing. Okay, that, that's probably because this is the, um, it's not out yet. On June 17th, it's going to be out on the Apple website. It's $10 for, I think it's $10 for the iPod Touch update. So, 
I might do that and take this off because it's not giving me everything. So anyway, but you see, you've got your most, uh, you got your featured, most viewed. That's oh, loading. Oh, there we go. And you've got your search. Nothing. Favorites. Okay, so favorites. You're probably thinking, where's bookmarks? And then you've got more. There's, well, I'll tell you, I'll go on the bookmark thing later. But see where it says playlist, subscriptions, and my videos? And this little button up here, it says sign in. So click it, and you can actually sign in to your YouTube account, which I'll do right now to show you guys. Okay. Oops. Everyone knows I'm FootFizz59, and I can't show you my password. Okay, return. And it signs in. See the little wheel up top, I think. Okay, so wait. Actually, I'm sorry. You're actually signed in. So then I just went into my subscriptions, and you can see all your new videos and all your subscriptions who have videos. And then favorites is actually what you favorited on the computer, and you can also favorite here, and it loads onto the computer automatically. That's really cool. So, like, yeah, so, up oh, there's the iPod Touch thing I'll put in the link for you guys to go to uh, iPhone Arena. Okay, so YouTube's amazing. Now, like, in settings, and the iPhone has more settings, the 3GS. See, now it just says store, and you can sign out and view account and stuff. And then you've got your, like, Urban Spoon, if you got that. And then General, nothing, really. What's that? Oh, Reset. Okay. Yeah, the Reset button's new, I think, so. Yeah, that's, um, that's basically everything. But then, I'm sorry, at the bottom, as you see next to the white dot, kind of, it has, like, a little magnifying glass. I know you can't see it so well. Yeah, so. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so. I think in maps, I heard in maps you could, like, find your iPhone. Yeah, it gives you the whole state. So let's see what happens. Type in my address. Okay, so I typed it in, and then it goes where I live. Okay, so yeah, it's this isn't doing what it said it would either. Oh wait, wait, what's that? Hold on. Current location. Oh okay, okay. Yeah, it does a current location. It's, it's always done that. But I mean, if you get the iPhone 3GS, which I think comes out on June 17th, same time as the update, you get voice memos. You get the search thing, and you can see it a little bit. Ooh. And you get that, you get a compass built in, it's nothing special, but you got the YouTube, and you've got voiceover where you can say call Bob into the microphone, or find, or play, uh, the flatheads, or play, like any kind of music, you know who the flatheads are, right? Yeah, and nothing's really that different, but it's really cool though. So there's the update for the iPod Touch second generation and the iPhone 3G the update will be the update link will be in the video video description oh, sorry this and the iPhone arena um we, uh, website his channel will be in the video description and the both videos for jailbreaking the jailbreaking video that's still in beta obviously that's a really good one that's what I used and the 3.0 version. And that's what I'm using right now. It's not jailbroken, though, because I don't have Cydia. Okay, well, thanks a lot, guys. See you later.